Hey guys, Ryu here. In this video, I want to say a few words regarding the new course that we prepared for you uh, in Blender. And this is going to be vanilla, pure vanilla course. So for anyone who's a beginner or intermediate user or someone who wants to strengthen their knowledge of basic fundamental Blender tools, that's going to be probably for you. Now, this course is really cool because uh, it's not really complicated in terms of modeling. It's not really about complexity of modeling, but it's actually about the coolness factor of the render because, you know, our goal for some time was to uh, promote the importance of uh, the final render, the, the work that you're going to put on your portfolio because this is what eventually gonna get you the job, okay? Gonna lend you the job, and this is your business card to the outside world, and you know, especially now with everything being so remote, it's really important to have a portfolio because you can easily either send it or just keep it there, and people visit your stuff on ArtStation or wherever you have your folio, and they can easily, you know, easily determine what kind of artist you are, what's your skill level, what can you do, what can't you do, like I said, the modeling part, as you can see on the screen, is really simple. It's a lot of fun because uh, I'm actually showing you a lot of techniques. Um, and the second part, uh, in, Josh will show you how to create a really awesome procedural composite. And that will be then finalized in Photoshop. But if you don't have Photoshop, you can use any software, really. It's not, you know, even GIMP, probably if you're efficient in GIMP, you can use GIMP or Affinity Photo, whatever you use, doesn't matter. The point is that um, the whole course is vanilla. Now, the only add-ons I'm going to be using is going to be Machine Tools and PowerSafe. In Machine Tools, I'm using the free version, and I'm using it mostly to switch very quickly between the solid mode and edit mode, vert's face, etc. And also PowerSafe, well, it's a sanity check add-on. You know, you want it because when your Blender crashes, you want to back up. As you can see, I'm working in Blender 3.0. So I'm actually testing uh, the new Alpha Blend uh, Blender build, and it's very stable. I have no problems with it. I'm working with or without add-ons, and uh, you know, it very rarely crashes. It's actually much more stable than 93. Anyway, I digress. The course is going to show you how to create a sci-fi communication device, like a radio device, a bit on the sci-fi side, but you know, nothing too complex. So don't have to be intimidated. The course is really short. It's not too long, so it's digestible. You can probably do it in a weekend or something. It's supposed to be lightweight. And the uh, the procedural part uh, is really fun. You're going to learn about using textures, using displacements in Blender. So you're going to be a little bit of basic work with nodes, uh, work with HDRIs, work with, you know, the render engine. We are rendering, of course, in cycles because of the quality of shadows and light. It's much more superior to Eevee. Although if you know what you do in Eevee, you can create really outstanding renders. Uh, sometimes even I can't tell which renders on my art station are Eevee or which ones are cycles. So just, you know, it's kind of sometimes really close, okay? But anyway, um, so this course, you know, is, is literally lightweight. Like I said, it's going to be short and very concise. And uh, it's uh, very friendly towards, you know, people who just get into Blender want to make something really cool. It's going to be uh, very accessible in terms of uh, price, uh, 20 bucks. And though one more thing I need to mention that the seats are going to be limited and that's really important. So grab it when you can. Uh, I suggest you hop on it when it's going to be released. The release is on Friday, August 13th. Thanks for watching and I see you in the course.